this the wrong garden you're talking about? What? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the slowest rig of all time. I can just mount this thing to my head. That's a really high powered piece of equipment. Never stop rolling. Yeah, what are we doing? Dude, we're at the top of WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, up here by the quirking screwing. And uh, we don't get to drift it this weekend, supposedly, but we'll see about that, brother. It was kind of cool to see in real life. It's a lot more of an elevation change than it shows in the game, that's for sure. I mean, that's like from top to bottom, I don't know, that's probably like four stories. These guys are already trying to figure out how to drift a corkscrew and they're not even allowed. Harry, <laughs> let me tell you, we didn't come out of here for nothing. <laughs> They better drift the corkscrew. Nobody's coming back next year. <laughs> if they let us back next Guys, so here you guys keep doing what yeah, you're doing. Actually, take it back down. Just I got a film set up. No, Lorenzo, Lorenzo, that one has to go on the next one. It's okay, son. I'm still proud of you. Dude, look at this, proud dad. Hell yeah. I'm gonna post this on Facebook. We're gonna go wheeling, dude. We're gonna find some trails up in the woods. <laughs> oh, give her some gas, bud. Oh, no. You guys are gonna take that thing out? Yeah, it's very bad. Seems like you had another good idea. on probation this weekend because nobody's ever drifted this track before except Matt one time. So as long as we can keep flying off track to a minimum, we should be good. But we got the Primitex 836 out here, Turbo M50, three liter, 550 wheel horsepower, dog box quick change, um, baby, basically like a little baby FD car. Should be pretty sweet. This track is super big and super fast, so I'm just stoked to hit that corkscrew. So we'll see what happens this weekend. I'm stoked to get it going. Bucket this for sure. Like yeah, that one. Real weekend racers. Yeah, just weekend racers. Low budget. These are the budget guys. The heart of motorsports. These are the these are the you know race on the weekend sell on Monday type of guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean these are entry level racing right here. Yeah. Right here. I'm really rooting for them. Me too, man.
the end of the pits, I'm in fourth gear doing like 60 miles an hour and the thing's like almost on the rev limit and I'm like, oh, this gear isn't even close. So I like do a lap and it's just like literally whatever. And I was like, yeah, I'll do one more just to feel the track out again. Uh, and then just after the second lap, came back in, literally didn't even drift any turns, came back in and uh, we just had the wrong gear in the car. So swap that out, no worries. At least we got a good little preview of the course. Um, it was like 86 mile an hour of wheel speed on the rev limiter, which uh, we should have checked, but whatever, that's my fault. And then, nah, my fault. eh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we just stick a different gear. We'll go out next session. It's all good. My track is sick. Corkscrew is sick. Like even just like grip driving it a little bit, like trying to maintain speed through like some of the tighter corners. Super fun. Like the track is epic. It has a lot of grip out there for sure. We just got like an urgent notice that one of the fellow competitors is really in need of red locker. He's got a situation. Except now he's like that's. He's like, that's way too cool for you. <laughs> Are those radium gloves? Yeah, they're sick. Here, here, go get some. Oh! <laughs> it just so happens <laughs> we are here at the racing track. Something to lock these threads with. No, seriously though, Big Travis is going to use Mars Thread Locker. He's going to lock his uh, lug studs into his hub here. His last ones were super loose, which is big sketchy, big no-no on big guy tires with big horsepower. So, big shot. From Tex Orange, come to the rescue. They're not yet, but they might be because we overfilled the motor with oil. I just noticed on the logs, where there's a point in the track where he's full throttle and the oil pressure drops slower than I'd want it to, and then it jumps right back up, which what? leads me to believe there's oil sloshing around. And the pickup for a slight second gets um, oil starvation, so we're overfilling it to, so that when the oil's moving around, since there's more of it, it'll still pick up on it. Kat's seeming nervous because she's about to go on a drift ride. Are you nervous? Yes. But I'm, I'm telling myself I'm excited. <laughs> and what is yourself telling you back? Just don't look like a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be fine. I know. It's gonna go a little bit easy at the beginning. We'll slow the track out for a lap or two. You'll kind of calm down a little bit and then we'll start ripping. Like, if you don't, if you want to stop, just like tap it in, we'll stop. No worries. <laughs> You got this, cat. Got Airbnb style here. Multiple air mattresses. Big L. Carlos inflating his mattress to oblivion. 
think she's done. What do you think? Accommodations? Are you down? I mean, it's no Ramada, but it's pretty good. No Ramada. I'm gonna be out like a light. Nothing yeah. more professional than that. Yeah. I mean, double dad cam, really double it down. Zama's Zama yeah. at a whole new level. We got a day in the books here. We're getting breakfast. We're at the track. Drifting the corkscrew, like, I mean, are you stoked? Dude, legendary stuff. Like, history's been made. Like, I, I, like, I say it, it sounds stupid, but it's like, it's actually true. Like, nobody's ever done this before. We're getting, being able to run this event, like, coming basically, like, once you come up that back hill, link the corkscrew all the way down the hill, like, 100 miles an hour, flicking it back in, you can link it all the way to the end of the track, and it's like the sickest thing of all time. What I didn't expect was actually how much the car unloads once you transition down the hill. You can hear it in the videos. I flick it in and I have to leave it a gear high because I need the extra wheel speed once I get through the corkscrew. Because there's no time to upshift, especially with the power level on the E36. So I'm like working the clutch a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. And once it gets lit off, it goes and then it like hooks up at the bottom. Just based on, because you're literally falling basically. So it's like the car gets light, the wheel spin picks up. And then as it G's out right at the bottom of the corkscrew, it like loads up and wants to pull angle out of the car. Something that I, I didn't even really think about, to be honest with you, but once you kind of get used to it, it's like the sickest of all time. Like, absolutely the best. We're having so much fun. I think we got five sessions today. So there's going to be a bunch of driving. Hopefully the E36 continues to be the best car of all time. Take some people for some rides and it'll be a good day. You riding shotgun? Yeah, dude. Again, this uh, this old beater E36, you know, straight out of 1993. Pretty much stock. Yeah, pretty much stock. That's neat. Lauren, are you qualified to drive this? Man, uh, all these people. My license is suspended in four states. That's a. Uh, that one's not coming off because yeah, that's all. No matter how hard you rub that one, <laughs> okay. You like that? Let it sit. Let it marinate. Okay. Give it a. Give it a one day. Ooh, man. so many laps this thing this car is literally for each session 15 minutes the tires barely last and it takes four and a half gallons of fuel per session like that just goes to show you how wide open this thing is the whole time it's chugging fuel chugging tires and it's been the sickest weekend ever so far we're gonna end it on a high note right now we're gonna do a bunch of ride-alongs i don't know how it's gonna work we're gonna do trying to do four ride-alongs in one session but it should be pretty nuts so 
You gotta check this out. Officially, the final day, the final session of Gridlife Laguna. Uh, what an unbelievable weekend. Like I keep saying it, this is just absolute bucket list stuff here, drifting down the corkscrew. And then not just like drifting it once or twice, but like having enough sessions on it, having enough laps on it to get to the point where I'm like comfortable with it. And like, and like take people for rides. We did four ride alongs in the last session alone. One lap come in, swap, one lap come in, swap. Uh, got all the boys for a ride, which was super, super freaking sick. We had the GT radial tires, lasted just long enough. And like, can we seriously give a shout out to the C36? I whooped this thing mercilessly, and I mean mercilessly all weekend, absolutely to the floor, 100% of the time, and uh, did not miss a beat. Not one thing we did to it. I'm telling you, just tires and fuel, that's it. So just a picture perfect weekend here, and stoked to finish it off on that last session, just on a super high note, and uh, we're gonna go watch some T-Pain tonight, and uh, I mean, there isn't much else to say. That was gangster. <laughs>